iReader used to be one of the largest pen manufacturers in the Wacom game, and I'm talking Wacom Stylus Pen, not Ballpoint. This is the iReader X-Pen Gen 5, and the funny thing about this is that even though it's the 5th gen, it's actually the 3rd, because they made the X-Pen then they had the X-Pen Gen 3, and now it's the Gen 5. So we're not sure why 2 and 4 has been skipped. Typically, Chinese companies don't like dealing with 4 because it has negative connotations spiritually, but they missed 2, and I guess they're just skipping over to this one. So this is a 2024 model. This one has 4,096 levels of pressure sensitivity. Of course, it is Wacom. It works on everything, and this one is said to be very high quality and very responsive when it comes to tilt recognition and dusting the page like on a Kindle and a Remarkable. But we're going to check it out and see what we can see. We're going to open the box here and we're doing an unboxing and review all in one so you guys don't have to wait. And it looks like I can just eyeball it. Yep, those are the same tips as everyone in the manufacturing game. So Remarkable will have these tips, Big Me will have these tips, Amazon will have these tips, iReader iFly tech everyone everyone's gonna have the exact same one so that is everything that comes in the box just paper and stuff like that no plastic whatsoever which is kind of nice but actually there's no replacement tips in the box so I'm not sure what they were doing with that let's take the tip out and see the length because pocketbook uses these tips but they actually cut it by two-thirds the length but no these are just these standard tips there's not gonna be anything of concern there you push it in there you go this thing is all black but I do believe they have a white color as well and and they have a yellowish tan logo. I've never seen that before. I do not know if it has an eraser. It doesn't push in or anything like that, but it looks like it might actually function. And you get a flat side here that snaps to the side of the device and should also ergonomically give you a little bit of support. So if you want to rest your middle finger there, your index finger or your thumb, you have that option. The thing is lengthed pretty long, actually. This is one of the longer pens, but we don't know how heavy it is until we we weigh it. So we have our fancy dancy goodie reader mug filled with pens. We'll just weigh a couple of these. So we have the Apple Pencil, which is coming in at 18 grams. Let's go over to an iFlyTech standard stylus at 13 grams. We'll move over to the DPT pen, which comes in at 16 grams. And one final one, we'll do an Onyx Air pen, which comes in at 13. Now, how heavy is the iReader? This one comes in at 18 grams. So it's one of the heavier pens in the industry and I will tell you this thing does have some weight to it it doesn't feel like a stainless steel fountain pen but it definitely is evidently heavier than the rest of the pens in the game we're going to use a Kindle Scribe for this because everything works on the Kindle Scribe. The Kindle Scribe is a flush screen and bezel and has a consistently mid-range screen. It's better than a Remarkable, but not as good as a Fujitsu, so it makes a good kind of testing ground for our pen. Let's check it out. We're just going to do maybe fountain pen, and we'll make it as big as possible so we can get that bleed. It's an overall nice feel. Now, of course, this is all going to come down to the actual screen and the tips. And let me explain if you guys are not sure. All of these pens have a tip on them like this. Now, if Remarkable and Fujitsu and Big Me all use the same tip right there, then the drawing experience is only going to be as good as the device you're writing on. So you have to consider the screen technology, which is why we're using the Kindle, because it's just kind of a mid-range screen. Now, things like Fujitsu is going to have a very gritty screen with a lot of kind of sandpapery feel. Remarkable is going to be much the same, but not quite as good. Super Note, for example, is just kind of spongy and sticky because it has this weird kind of rubber over it. And something like an Amazon Kindle is going to be, you know, mid-range. So it is going to match about the tip you're using and the screen type you're using. Let's check really quick if the eraser works before we move on. That is a nice eraser. Oh my goodness. Wow, look at that. 
Do I have the tip? I, I can use the tip too. That is a very good eraser. While I appreciate companies like Stadler and Pilot that have these rubber erasers, they get in the way in, in a way. For example, if you want your eraser to feel like an actual eraser and grip on the page, you get a Stadler Jumbo because that's a really good experience. But my goodness, the accuracy of this and you know what i kind of like the hard plasticky nature of it it really is quite rewarding when you tap it on the screen and the accuracy is very high i much like this eraser this is a very very solid eraser it feels good in the hand it has a really good length and the tips are interchangeable and they're a dime a dozen because everyone uses these if you go on amazon.ca and buy the Kindle tips, you can use those tips on this pen. So rest assured about that. Let's go over to a pencil and see what kind of tilt we have going on here. That is glorious. Doesn't that feel good? I like how this pen is evenly weighted as well. It feels good in your hand and it rests very nicely here so you can really get into your art. I'm not an artist, but just dusting this, I can feel that the pen is completely stable and I get this very nice dusting. And this does kind of exactly as advertised it very easily recognizes tilt. So if I go straight up and down, that's going to be the pen like that, or if I go at an angle, it's going to be like that. And this angle is pretty extreme. And yes, it does have pressure sensitivity. So the harder I dust, it's going to be darker, or the lighter I dust, it's gonna be like you dropped pepper on top of your tabletop. This is a very good pen. I like this pen. Again, religious things and spiritualities aside, I'm not sure why they skipped four. I think it's because of the naming, but they also exhibited this in the past with skipping two. If you want to grab one of these pens, they are available in our store. iReader has been a consistent manufacturer of Wacom enabled stylus pens. And if you're just curious as to why we're covering pens, we've been covering pens for well over a decade. Pens for stylus purposes on eNotes are synonymous with e-readers. Everyone uses them nowadays. Everyone gets into e-notes. Amazon never, we never thought they would have made an e-note. Big brands like Lenovo and Huawei and Pocketbook and Onyx and Big Me and Goyue and MeBook and just everyone uses to some degree stylus pens. Even Kobo uses active capacitive. So get one of these if you want one of these. It's a high quality experience. I love it. It's a nice pen and feeling is everything when it comes to e-notes. So this is the one to get.